So what we're doing with this particular experiment is we want to get to the idea of how light travels and that light travels on a state line and also what do we need to be able to see. And the end result is that you know you need to have a light source, so in this case it's going to be the laser, but you also need something for it to bounce off of. Now normally when we're doing something like this and you have the laser beam, you don't see anything in between. We talk, we begin the discussion with, well, why? Why don't I see anything here? Some of your students might say, oh, it travels too fast, there's nothing, and they might pick up, but there's nothing for it to bounce off of. So we try to teach the idea of like, I need to have something to bounce off. So what we can use is one, we can use baby powder, or you can also use, if you have students with an asthma condition, you can use like a little spray bottle and a squirter or something of that nature. Now you do need to be careful, like if your students have asthma, if you're doing this a lot, you want to make sure you're not causing any breathing conditions. You also want to make sure it's in a dark enough room. So here, there's nothing going on. And when you use the baby powder, I put the baby powder in my hand and blow with my hand because if I take the powder and I turn it upside down, it can really make a mess for you to clean up. And so we really don't want to do that. So we want to kind of minimize our cleanup time because we're teachers, we don't have time. So watch what happens to the laser pointer or to the laser beam when it's turned on and I blow the baby powder in front of it. So we get that nice line of the laser pointer, and as you can see, as the particulars kind of go away, I could do a little bit more. And so we see what's happening is that all those little pieces of baby powder are bouncing off. So sometimes I like to talk about fireworks where at the beginning, you may not see lasers in the fireworks or anything like that, but as the time goes on, you might see the lasers going through all the different smoke. So we can talk about examples like that. So this is a way that you can kind of use lasers to help teach what it is you're doing.